Hello folks and welcome to another video. Today I thought we would take a look at the camcorder that I've been using to shoot most of my YouTube videos over the last few years. So what we have is the Sony DCR SX33E Handycam. So what we're doing is we're going to take a quick sort of overview around the outside of the camera before we get into some of the specifications. So if we just start, we'll just flip it around there so you can actually see a little bit easier. So what we have, it, it's a 60 times optical zoom lens. It's a Coral Zeiss lens. So, and here we have uh, the microphone here. And as we move further down the camera, this is our zoom rocker, uh, wide angle telephoto. This is in effect the shutter button if you're in photographic mode. Uh, and to toggle between photographic and video mode it's this button here so it, and then when you're in photo you press that and if I just quickly stand it up on the end there where you can see that if you're in photo that icon lights up there if you're in video that icon lights up there and just here it's your video start and stop so we'll have a quick look around the front end so up the front this is the lens, it has a little flip uh, shutter, backwards and, uh, I'm saying shutter, a uh, lens cover, so it shuts backwards and forwards, I don't know if you can see that very well, there. and here, the video light is not that good, and I think these two here are your focus sensors, so if we now roll around to this side, obviously the strap, under here, not see very well but under here we have this socket here which is probably not very visible you see if it'll focus the socket on the left is for charging and the socket on the right is uh, with a supplied lead that you can plug into your television and uh, plugs into that and on the other end of the lead it's just got the standard phono jacks I think they're red and no, yellow and white I think they are that. And just here, that's our open and close button for the uh, lens cover shutter, what you want to call it. Right. And on the back, there's your battery. That's just a quite a small lithium ion battery. And if we just spin it round to the bottom, turn it round. So, what we have here is a standard quarter 20 tripod bush. And under here, it's your SD card there. It's just a matter of Popping in, and popping out pretty standard with most SD card mounts. So what we do now, I'm going to open up the side, and it will make the customary Sony noise. And there we go. Right. So what we have is a USB there. This button here will turn the light on or off. Let me see. I will flip it around and see. You can see the light there. So again, it's not that good. Flip it on. So that does that. This button here, it just alters the exposure so uh, you can be in bright or dark conditions and you'll just press that and it'll just open or close the aperture. That will turn the camera off. It, as it's turned itself on now, It will turn, you can use that to turn the camera off. That there is just to play your footage through. That is a direct burn to, to a disc via the Sony software. Obviously you need a computer to connect it to that. And this area here is the speaker, sort of in, in this area here, there's a sort of speaker built and it's not very good. Just in there, the reset button there. This button here, or lever, you just push it up. Let me show that very well, just push it up and the battery slides off and just click it back in it says see it's a little bit fiddly this one and it just clicks back in obviously he's powered himself up because he didn't turn it off and I did it and there's the screen so flips all the way around and you can turn it back sort of to that way yeah Again, it's not a bad screen. I will show you some of the, the, the view from the screen in a minute when I reset the camera. 
but to go into, if I flick it round so we can hold it easier that way, so what we're going to do is going to look at some of the menus now, but then I'll go into the, the specification of the camera. So we go into all the menus, so I want to start. So what we have is a scene selection, and there's two pages of that, so they're pretty self explanatory there. Uh, this one I just leave on auto all the time, but you just touch that down as you can see it's touch screen and it will take you to the next screen. Just use that to go back. You can then have the fader on or off, black, uh, fade to black, fade to white. Again, I don't bother with that. White balance, again, I leave set to auto, but you can have it indoors, outdoors. Spot metering, it will set in that area there, it will focus on that, but it's in auto again. Scroll down to the next menu, so again, spot meter, same principle, it does it in the middle, on or off. Exposure, I got it on auto. If you go to manual, you can then use these two plus or minus to increase or decrease exposure. But we're going to go to auto. So go into the next page. This is your uh, tele zoom. I always have it turned off. Or, uh, sorry, macro mode. I was always turn off. Sorry, not tele zoom. Macro mode. I do apologize for that. This is your, uh, your shooting set if you like your shooting mode. So we have high quality, standard, and long play. So high quality is 9 megapixel. Standard it will shoot at 6 megapixel and long play a very small 3 megapixel but again always in high quality. I'm hoping to actually finish this before the battery in the camcorder goes flat so you can actually see the menu. Three guidelines on or off, I always have them on, I find it a lot easier. And then this is your steady shot, so I've got that off, and the reason I've got that off is because I think it spoils the image quality, it tends to blur it. Auto slow shot speed, I have that off. Face detection, again off, I think it just hunts too much for, for faces. And so you have the, this is your microphone, built in microphone zoom, so you can have it set. For normal or low, I'll accept for normal. Oh, back again. And then there's some other recording settings here, folks. So, so look at that. Digital zoom, wide selection zoom. So I just, digital zoom I have off because it's just very poor quality. I have it set to 16.9 uh, wide. Go back again. Right now we're into the photo settings. So these again, self self explanatory self timer off image size as you can see oh, I'm sorry I apologize for banging the cam uh, tripod there VGA or 2 megapixel depending on what you fancy it being set at go down to the next one file number again just in series you can reset it video visual index so it just that's what it's basically showing us and there's some uh, video of the last uh, YouTube video I actually shot but that's what your menu looks like there go out and then we go down again obviously these are pretty self-explanatory so I won't go open up delete whatever's on the machine you can protect it that you can divide don't quite know what that looks, I've lost the manual. <laughs> but you can divide the uh, dates, I suppose. I, I don't know, folks, I'm not really all favour with that. USB, that just does if you're connected, USB or burn disk straight away. Using the two, you can connect it there or if you connect, connect that, it will burn a disk straight through your computer. Battery info, so it's telling me that the battery is uh, pretty well exhausted. Oh, 
What's he doing, folks? That would have to be a bit slow. I think, I think I'm faster than the, the menu keeps up. Obviously, format memory card. This you can uh, repair if there's any missing file. You actually repair it. Allegedly, so I've never tried it. You can change some of the input settings to your own preference. You know, certain dials will do certain things. You it's set in your own menu. You set your language and the clock. There's your power settings. Shutter off, power off by LC, uh, LCD. Again, I don't really bother with any of that. And we're back to the beginning again. So, that is the Sony camcorder quick sort of menu. What we do, I'm going to leave that there. We'll, we'll turn it off actually. Save the battery now. Basically, we're just going to give you a quick look at some of the specs or we'll read through some of the specs. So, it's start off with it it's a two the, the microphone this built in microphone here it's it's basically a two channel Dolby sort of sound microphone it's built in it's a stereo microphone and the camera or the image sensor it's 2.3 centimeters it's a CCD type sensor it's quite a small uh, sensor. It's an 800 pixel uh, sensor. So in uh, so the number of pixels as this is in camera mode. If you're at 16.9, uh, it's 490, or if you're 4.3, it's 410. It's not a particularly good sensor. It's certainly not. Uh, HD and as you can see probably by some of the videos that I've po posted it's actually very poor uh, video quality <coughs> excuse me shoots down to about uh, three lux so it's got steady mode on it um, hasn't got a built in flash no audio input it's got audio output no mic input video output and it hasn't got the S video output and the lens is a Coral Zeiss lens f1.8 its focal length in millimeters is 1.8 or 108 f35 in camera mode excuse me as it's not it's in uh, camera mode it hasn't got a white it's not really wide angle it uh, saves images in JPEG. In the VGA, it's 460 by 480, uh, four, 640 by 480. Sorry, as we said, it doesn't shoot in any sort of burst modes or anything like that. It's pretty basic lithium-ion battery. Um, so I'm sort of flicking through the the rather poor uh, boat booklet that I have. So it's, it records, which is the more important thing I think we should be looking at it, it records in standard definition MPEG-2. Uh, it records to memory state or SD card as we said, class 2 or higher, so it's actually quite, uh, quite cheap to get uh, cards in it. The movie quality is, for those technical people, in high quality, it shoots at 9 megabits per second. Wow. Uh, in standard quality or, or standard def, standard play, it shoots at 6 megabits or long play 3 megabits. So it's not particularly high spec at all. Uh, I'm not, I didn't really want to go into any of the massive amount of specs because I think the videos that are on YouTube that I've done with it actually, um, you can see see the quality of the video that uh, it puts up which is not brilliant by today's standard so what I'm going to do folks I'm just going to reset the camera and to, so you can just see some of the if, if the battery's still lasting so I'm just going to reset the tripod if you bear with me so there we are folks that's the sort of view that we get through the screen zoomed right out 
zoom in and pick up some. That's my coffee cup on the table over there. So it's not it's not brilliant. I will post some video clips that uh, I've taken with it. Ooh, sorry, folks, I'm out of view there. I'm sort of trying to look at both. Well that's it folks, that is the Sony DCR SX33E camcorder. Hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't really want to go into a massive amount of specs for the camera. Uh, because it's, it is what it is I suppose. Uh, when I first bought it, it was relatively high spec. But by today's standard it uh, is very poor. And even your smartphones will produce a much better video quality uh, I'm soon to be changing this for something much better uh, I might even stick to using the Canon uh, camera that I'm actually doing this video at the minute because this is nearly HD but anyway folks hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you again soon bye bye for now